everyone, Mr. Cifuentes here. Not knowing what a book is saying is pretty much like trying to sing along to a song where you actually don't understand any of the words. You can pretend like you know, but it's obvious you don't. Last night I was reading Goosebumps, and there were certain words I had a lot of trouble understanding. So I was thinking, how am I supposed to figure this out? In the star test, the author will usually underline words that he or she thinks you will not understand. But what about when the author thinks you do know a word and does not underline it? But you actually do not understand it. What do we do then? Oh, it seems like it's morning now. I guess I should go make some breakfast. What a wonderful sun. All right. Let's get this day started. Uh, I should probably put on some music first. Yeah, that's my favorite. Okay, what am I gonna eat today? Uh, let me check. Do I have coal? Okay, there's, there's enough. <clears throat> should I feel like chicken? Ah, like, uh, let me get some chicken. Get something filling. Alright, let me get this cooking right here. Huh, what's on TV? Ah, space. Must be on the Discovery Channel. Anyway, I guess while that is cooking, I'll go check the mailbox. Alright, I'm here now. Let's see. <clears throat> Good morning, sir. Good morning, kind sir. There seems to be a letter here for you. Seems quite urgent. Oh, alright. Let's see. Let's see mm -hmm. what you got. Oh, whoops. It fell on your side, sir. <laughs> Seems like you had some trouble there. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's let's read this. Dear Mr. Cifuentes, mm -hmm. I'm writing to inform you of some terrible news. I am incredibly sorry, but I must tell you that you are being evicted, huh? The city is very thankful for all the zombies and spiders you have killed in order to keep our people safe. But, sadly, that does not mean you can stop paying your rent. We gave you three months to come up with the missing money, and you never bothered giving anything. So, if you can kindly pack up your belongings, I will personally come by your house to pick up your keys with a heavy heart. Mayor Sora Final Forms. What? What does evicted mean? Okay, let's take a closer look at this letter to figure out the meaning of evicted. Anytime you come across a word that you do not understand, it is always good to reread that section. Remember, go back to where that word was located. Let's do that first. As I read, I'm going to be thinking about the context of the story and watching out for clue words that may help me determine the meaning of my unknown word. Dear Mr. Cifuentes, Mm -hmm. I'm writing to inform you of some terrible news. I am incredibly sorry, but I must tell you that you are being evicted, huh? The city is very thankful for all the zombies and spiders you have killed in order to keep our people safe. But, sadly that does not mean you can stop paying your rent. We gave you three months to come up with the missing money, and you never bothered giving anything. So, if you can kindly pack up your belongings, I will personally come by your house to pick up your keys with a heavy heart mayor sora final forms now let's see what we can come up with by using the clue words we found first i'm going to display them using these clue words and the context of the letter what do you think the word evicted means pause and discuss them with a friend this is what i'm thinking because i stopped paying rent i received some bad news then, the mayor told me I had to pack up my belongings and give him my keys. If I use my background knowledge and the clues from the text, I can safely come to the conclusion that evicted means I am being kicked out out of my house. Ooh. 
Let's see what the postman has to say about what the word evicted means. That's when someone gets kicked out of their house for not paying rent. Why do you ask, sir? Is did, that happening to you? Did you just say that they get kicked out of their house? Yes, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Remember, context clues only really work when you understand the other stuff going on in the story. If you have trouble understanding most of the story, then I highly recommend that you leave that book alone for now and grab an easier one. It's alright if you need to do this. What is not okay is if you're wasting your time pretending to read. Anyway, make sure you try out this strategy with the next book you pick up. And hopefully, this way you can learn more words in order to sing along to your favorite song. Bye! Somewhere else